Okay, today in class we were talking a little bit about scientific notation. Scientific notation, we said, is a way of writing really big or really small numbers in a compact way. And the way we do that is we write uh, the number as a product of two factors. The first factor had to be a number that is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. And the second number is a power of 10. So look at the number we have on the board. I say a YouTube video had 11,360,000 views. Write that number in scientific notation. Well, let's see. We need our first factor it has to be a number that's greater than 1 and less than 10. So I'm going to move my decimal point, which right here I don't see a decimal point, so that means my decimal point is at the end of the number. If you don't see it, it's at the end. So now my decimal point is right over here, and I need to move it so that I come up with a number that is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. And there's only one place I can put it. Think about where you would move the decimal to come up with a number that is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. Well, you'd have to move it right there between the 1s. That would give you 1.136. 1 1.136. There's a number that's greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So there's your first factor. And now our second factor, we're going to multiply it by a power of 10. So what power of 10 should we use? Well, how many places did I move the decimal to get it between the 1s? Move the decimal 3, 6, 7 places. There's your exponent. So the way we can write 11,360,000 in scientific notation is say 1.136 times 10 to the 7th. You write it as a product of two factors. The first factor is always a number that is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. And the second number is always going to be a power of 10. And you determine that power by the number of places you moved your decimal. Okay? Now, we can also write numbers that are in scientific notation, write them in standard notation. So we have 7.6 times 10 to the 7th. To write that number in standard notation, I'm going to move my decimal 7 places to the right. 7.6 times 10 to the 7th. Well, if I move my decimal one place to the right, I run out of places, so I need to add six zeros as placeholders. So I have a 76 followed by one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. And now I put my decimal there. I move my decimal seven places to the right. And I can put my commas in as needed and know that. 7.6 times 10 to the 7th in standard notation would be 76 million. So there's how you can take a very large number and write it into scientific notation, or take a number that's written in scientific notation and write it out as a large number. Okay, get some practice.